want to do something in this church I've not done here before. Every time we play here, and I have to bring singers, as we go to leave, people are always saying, Ken, why don't you sing? Okay, that's never actually happened. <laughs> but in case it ever does, I thought I'd sing one. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't think I've sung this song in church, maybe because it doesn't belong there. But <laughs> it's sort of connected to Perry, so uh, I'll squeeze it in. And besides having Kyle Laird in the building makes everything holy. <laughs> sort of like Protestant Pope. <laughs> or, or, or data. Uh, I, some of you, a lot of you grew up in the Perry school system. You remember in those days the main piano teacher was whoever the band director was at the time. And sometimes the band director had a degree in playing drums or clarinet and didn't know anything about the piano. But, but, but they tried. Uh, Frank Neal, Frank Neal, uh, Jenkins, was one uh, succession of talking about the old days of band teachers here. Well, I mom pretty much made me take piano lessons, and she made me practice by saying I wouldn't have to dry dishes after supper if I go practice the piano. And to this day, when I get done eating, I feel like playing the piano. <laughs> <laughs> and I use plastic plates at home. <laughs> I still don't. I, I didn't know for years, Dad, that you guys had a dishwasher. <laughs> I wonder what that machine was running in the other room. I thought I was getting out of something. But I told her I would quit when I was 16. She said, okay, I'll make a deal, because I didn't like practicing uh, or going to the lessons. And then she fooled me. When I turned 16 and got a driver's license, she found a piano teacher in Pittsfield, which meant I could drive to do it. Oh. Now I'm torn, so I, I, I did. I took a, lessons down there for a while for a lady who all, she was a really nice lady, but when you're a 16-year-old boy, and she was over, over 150 at the time, <laughs> she just seemed like a real taskmaster, so I, I, I called her Mrs. Jones. Anyway, I've written a song about all that. The song's not quite as long as that introduction. <laughs> Every night I brush my teeth and practice my piano with Frida listening in the other room. And every Wednesday afternoon I go and take my lesson while Mrs. Jones arrived there on her broom. <laughs> my stubby fingers stumbled through the measures and the bars while Mrs. Jones insisted I play some song about stars. Cause soon as I began to play, the old gal started snoring. <laughs> and that was when the fun began, while Mrs. Jones was sleeping. I'd throw some extra rhythms in, my fingers started creeping. And if 
I played it bad enough, she'd smile and go to bed. And I could turn that rainbow on its stupid head. about to shout. Her poor piano banging kid had just forgot to raise the lid. <laughs> I raised it up. The crowd was on. I made a real quick deal with God and slowly then began to play while mom dropped to her knees to pray. <laughs> Anytime soon. 